Please shall we remain standing as we take the opening prayer. We shall remain standing respectfully as we take the opening prayer. Shall we pray? Almighty God, we are grateful to you for the gift of life and the blessings of this day. We thank you, O God, for traveling mercies granted unto our president and members of the government who are with us here. We thank you, O God, for traveling mercies granted unto the chairman of the governing council and all other members of our council. We thank you, O God, for your blessings and traveling mercies granted unto our vice chancellor and the members of the management team of this university. We thank you, O God, for senior members, senior staff, junior staff, and students of this university. We especially thank you, O God, for members of the planning committee who have worked tirelessly to put this together. We commit this ceremony into your hands, gracious Lord, and we ask in that you take control over everything. Grant enablement to all who have a part to play, and let everything be done to your glory. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who died and rose again from the dead and lives forever, now and forevermore. Amen. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you on behalf of the management of the University of Education, Winneba, to the Jofusana Mwamensa Conference Center, where the investiture of the second chancellor of UEW is being held. I now invite the chairman of the governing council of the University of Education, Winneba, Nana Ofori Ansa the first to deliver his welcome address and constitute this assembly into a congregation. Thank you. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodanko Ekufuadu, Honorable Minister for Education's Representative, Honorable Central Regional Minister, Mrs. Justina Merigold Hassan, Honorable Member of Parliament for a Futu Constituency, Alexander Afenyomakin, Honorable Alaji Zubaru Kasim, a Futu MC, members, members of the University Council. The Vice Chancellor Professor Mauto Aboke, Pro Vice Chancellor Professor Victor Enchi, the Acting Registrar, Mrs. Wilhelmina Tete Mensa, the Finance Officer, Dr. Teoflos Senior Akoli, Acting Liberian, Ms. Agatha Gifty Larson, the Principal, College of Languages Education, Professor Dominic Dansu Mensa, the principal, College of Distance and E-Learning, Professor Ketre from Ponduku, members of convocation, distinguished invited guests, Nananum, staff, students, and alumni, the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Governing Council of the University of Education, Winneba, I welcome all of you to this afternoon's investiture of the second chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba. In line with the provisions of the University of Education, Winneba Act 204, Act 672, Nanyigati, the Omahi of Ifutu traditional area, has been appointed the successor to Alaji Dr. Azuma Abu Banda, the first chancellor of the university. Your Excellency, we are extremely grateful to you for taking time off your busy schedule to attend and perform this investiture for us. Your Excellency, the first Chancellor, Dr. Azuma Banda, was appointed in 2010 and ended his tenure in 2015. It is on record that 
A large banda devoted his energy and resources towards the development of the university. Unfortunately, his current state of health could not permit him to be with us today. The Governing Council expresses its sincerest appreciation to Dr. Banda for his services to the university and wishes him speedy recovery. Nanyagate is a friend of the university. Having served as a member of the Governing Council from 2017 to 2021, I am happy that as an industrious son of Ifutuland, he has had a continuous and continuous and have been and have keen interest in the development of the university. Nanyigati has had an illustrious life from his humble beginning as a teacher through his contributions to the agri sector, community development, the National House of Chiefs, and other key sectors of the economy. I have no doubt that these qualities will be brought to bear on the future objectives and goals of the university. To the chairperson and members of the search committee, I say thank you for getting us a person who perfectly, uh, perfectly fits into this position. Nanyagati, as a ceremonial head of the university, you are going to be our figurehead and consultant. We will not only call on you to support our efforts to sustain the peace and harmony, harmonious wind that is blowing across the university, but also we will rely on you and when wise counseling is needed in the governance and management of the university, we shall fall on you one more time. Nanyi, on behalf of the governing council, I congratulate you on your appointment as the second chancellor of this great university. We wish you the very best during your stewardship. Your Excellency, I assure you that the Governing Council, under my leadership, will support the Chancellor and accord him the necessary cooperation during his tenure as Chancellor so that together we work together towards the development of this university. I hereby call on management, convocation, staff, alumni, and students to acknowledge Nenyegate as the next chancellor of UW and also give him all the needed support to ensure he succeeds in his role. In concluding, Your Excellency, thank you for the roadmap towards peace and equity in this university. We are sure that we shall be guided by it in every step we take. God bless you. Your Excellency, I warmly welcome you to this occasion and also welcome everybody here. I hereby declare this assembly duly constituted. Thank you all for coming. God bless the president. God bless Nenyegati. God bless UW. God bless our motherland Ghana. Thank you very much.
Nananum, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor of introducing the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Ekufuado, to give us a short speech. Thank you. Eminent clergy, Central Regional Minister, the Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs, Deputy Majority Leader in Parliament, a Member of Parliament for Ifutu, Chancellor of the University of Ghana, Legon, Chairperson and Members of the Governing Board of the University of Education, Winneba, the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, Registrar, staff and students, and alumni of the University of Education, Winneba, the President of the National House of Chiefs, the President and members of the Central Regional House of Chiefs, Nananum, residents of Winneba, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very glad to be here this afternoon at the investiture ceremony of an outstanding traditional ruler who has become the chancellor of one of the best universities in Ghana, the University of Education, Winneba. Nyenyi <laughs> Gate, the seventh, is taking over as chancellor from one of Ghana's notable sons, Alhaji Asma Banda, during whose period the university was named as the third best university in Ghana in 2016 and adjudged the most sustainable university in Ghana last year. I thank Al Haji Asma Banda for his service to the growth of the university. Nanyi Chancellor, I'm sure you that you know that you have your work cut out for you. Nonetheless, I believe the university could not have picked a worthier successor than Nyenyi Gati VII. His wealth of experience should ensure a seamless transition and put him in good stead to help spur on the university onto even greater heights. I commend the authorities of the university for the excellent choice of this distinguished person one who is also happily a firm believer in academic freedom. Chancellor, Chairperson and Members of Council, Vice-Chancellor, Pro-Vice-Chancellor and Members of Faculty, students, ladies and gentlemen, I assure you of government's steadfast commitment and continued support to the University of Education, Winneba, and indeed to all other universities in the country. It is my expectation and hope that the University of Education Winneba, whose core mandate is to, quote, to produce professional educators to spearhead a new national vision of education aimed at redirecting Ghana's efforts along the path of rapid economic and social development, unquote, will continue to produce graduates who are molded to take on the opportunities and possibilities for higher achievement through innovation and creativity in today's science and technology-led, knowledge-driven global economy, and who will thereby help generate prosperity for the mass of our people in our time. I would want, in concluding this brief intervention at this most auspicious of proceedings, to share with you, especially with the young people on this campus, and in the young people generally everywhere in Ghana, 
one fundamental belief that shapes everything that I do. And that is that we have it in us to be the best generation, the generation that fulfills the dreams of the great patriots who brought our nation independence from British colonial rule, the generation whose work will give full meaning to the words of our country's motto, freedom and justice, the generation that will build a new Ghanaian civilization, the equal of any on the face of the planet. Let us therefore be up and doing, for greatness beckons. Once again, Chancellor, warm congratulations, and I wish you the very best of luck and God's guidance in this discharge of your large responsibilities. Enjoy every moment, every bit of this moment. You have earned it. May God bless the Enigate, the seventh, and, and us all. And may God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention.
you very much, School of Creative Arts, for the beautiful performance. Before we continue with the program, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of some dignitaries amongst us this afternoon. We'd like to acknowledge the presence of His Excellency Nana Ekufuado, the President of the Republic of Ghana. Honorable Alexander Fenyo Markin, Deputy Majority Leader and MP for Efutu. Honorable Marigold Hassan, Minister for Central Region. Napagatia Sulemana, National Coordinator, Presidential Special Initiatives. Honorable Stephen Asamoa Boatin, Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs. <laughs> we also like to acknowledge the presence of Nana Ufuri Ansa the First, Chairman of the Governing Council UEW. <laughs> Professor Mauta Avoke, Vice Chancellor. <laughs> Professor Victor Entry. Pro Vice Chancellor, <laughs> Dr. Theophilos Akoli, Finance Officer, <laughs> Ms. Agatha Larson, University Librarian, <laughs> Mrs. Mary Chinri Hesse, Chancellor, University of Ghana, Ligon. We also acknowledge the presence of colleague registrars, pro vice chancellors from sister institutions. We acknowledge the presence of Nananu and all invited guests. Thank you. <laughs> Profile of Nenyi Gati, the servant, Oman Hine of Efutu traditional area, Winiba. The Futu Oma Ode Fine Nigate the Seventh was known in private life as Daniel Koblan Boti Gati. He was born on 3rd April 1956 to two natives of the Futu Simpa State, Mr. Dolphin Kobna Gati and Madame Equia Saba, both of blessed memory. Kobnagate, as he was affectionately called, started his basic education at the Winneba Urban Council Primary School near Ahimfi. Nenyi Gate the seventh continued with his, his education at the Methodist Middle Boys School from 1967 to 1970. As a result of the hard work he adopted in his studies, he got enrolled at the Accra Academy Secondary School, where he successfully completed the General Certificate of Education, Ordinary Level, in 1975. He also got enrolled at the Winneba Secondary School, where he completed the General Certificate of Education, Advanced Level, in 1977. He furthered his education at the Premier University, University of Ghana, Ligon where he, he was awarded the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with Honors in Animal Science in 1980. In pursuance of his career, he was privileged to earn a Commonwealth Scholarship through the Ministry of Agriculture. With a scholarship, he got enrolled at the Central Poultry Training Institute, Her Saragata, India, in 1988. There, he obtained advanced knowledge in poultry nutrition and feeding. In 1989, he attended the Rubin Institute of Agriculture in Mekhefa in Israel for a course in farm management, planning, and extension. His zeal for academic excellence again made him enroll at the University of Cape Coast in August 2009 to pursue a postgraduate program a postgraduate program. In 2012, Nenyi Gate the Seventh was awarded a Master of Philosophy in Development Studies. From humble beginnings, 
He taught science and mathematics in his alma mater, Winnipeg Secondary School, Gadisado College, and Wesley Girls High School, all in the central region. He later assisted in the resettlement of retrenched personnel of the Ghana Civil Service during the 1984 retrenchment exercise and also the returnees from Nigeria in the era of the SWAL Defense Committee under the Provisional National Defense Council government. He was appointed the Projects and Programs Officer to the Defense Committees within the Gomua Ewutu Efutu Senior District in 1983. His dedication and passion for the work and responsibilities assigned to him warmed the hearts of individuals to settle as farmers in the district. In spite of his service in the government of the day, he still loved his profession and therefore decided to return to the field in 1984, where he was posted to the Department of Animal Husbandry in Takwa, and later transferred to Half Asini, serving as a district officer. Whilst in Takwa, he doubled as the farm manager of the Samao Livestock Station. He technically assisted all farmers, including the World Vision International Community Development Programs, to rear animals and raise funds for community development, bringing to bear the experiences from his foreign professional training in India and Israel. Upon his return home from his last of such training abroad, his capacity to shoulder the responsibilities of heading the Futu community was identified by the elders and king makers of the Otuya and Royal Student House in the Futu Winneba. He became the preferred choice and next to be crowned after the passing on of Nenyi Gati the Sith. The elders and king makers then nominated and installed him as the 16th king on the Otuya and Royal Black Stool as the Futu Maudefe of the Futu traditional area on 20th January 1996. He became a member of the Central Regional House of Chiefs after his coronation. From 2004 to 2008, he served as the Central Region Representative at the National House of Chiefs. Nenyi Gate VII has served the people of Efutu and also moved Efutu and its environment, environs from its chaotic moments to a more serene community. He has served the Efutu State, the Central Region, and the nation Ghana at various levels, such as being a member of committees on land, health, and population issues. His service also earned him two full terms with the University of Education, Winneba, as a member of the Governing Council from 2017 to 2021. He collaborated with Mrs. Iris Bannister to provide the first dental chair to the Winneba Government Hospital for the dental health needs of the people. Nenyi Gate the seventh, seventh established a sister city relationship with the cities of Birmingham and Charlottesville in the United States of America, from which enormous facilities have been provided. As the chief patron for Futu Youth Development Association, he played a key role in sourcing for funding in support of the Winneba Library Building. Through the Futu Youth Development Association, Nenyi Gate the Seventh approached the UNDP and in collaboration with the United Nations Office for Project Services, secured funding from the Norwegian Fund for Consultancy Services and Program Activities to fund the Winneba Catch Handling Improvement Study by Center Fisheries and Aquaculture of Norway. The project report, which was completed in 2000, has become the template for the now completed safe landing beach in Winneba and other coastal towns in Ghana. The University of Education Winneba has today found Nenyi Gate the seventh worthy in the service of humanity and has therefore appointed him as his chancellor. Congratulations, Nenyi Oma Benfi.
let him who has come to be invested as the Chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba, please step forward. Your Excellency and VC uh, will be grateful if you will be grateful if you join us in robing our Chancellor for us. By virtue of the authority of authority conferred on the University Council, I invest you, Nanjagati the Seventh, as the Chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba, this 21st day of April in the year 2023, Anno Domini. Thank you. Nana <laughs> Odebikese, Odebikese, who dominates the chance of two things? Hey, Adam Kesi Ebini, Nen, Picha Oso, Nen, Picha Oso, Odebikese, Odebikese, Yano. Yanazo, 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 Nasimafa. Thank you so much. Please, may I crave your indulgence to ask you to stand up for a word of prayer. Almighty God, we thank you and we bless your holy name for all your goodness to us. We should thank you so specially for your servant Nini 
Nay Gate the servant, a Futu Omar, a Defi, who had generously and humbly accepted the call to the position of Chancellor of the University of Education, Winema. Please, God, we pray you to grant him the abundance and the grace that he needs to faithfully discharge his duties. Grant him wisdom, give him the gift of humility, the listening ears, and the courage to respond to this awesome responsibility. Help him to remember that being in this office is an opportunity to serve, but not be to be served. Pour out your mighty spirit and sustaining blessing on his family, his colleagues, and give them kindness that they need to work collaboratively with this new leader. And grant that in the end, this noble university will be a place of moral and academic excellence. We make this prayer to you, God, through your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please sit. Nana, Nehigate, the servant, Efutu Oma Odefe, I will kindly ask you to step forward for the induction. Dear brother, and a friend, and Omahini, you have been called at this time as an administrator to take responsibility as a chancellor of this noble university. We believe that you have given prayerful and serious thought to the responsibility which have been entrusted to you and that you will weigh them, applying to them and asking help from the almighty God who alone can empower you sufficiently to fulfill these duties. This ministry, as you know, is an honor, a blessing, but also carries with it various implications of service and other responsibilities. This position recognizes your special talents and gifts, and this new status calls you to work among us in a genuine love. We thank you for gladly accepting the obligation, and we challenge you to offer your best to, the, to your Lord and to the people of this good nation, Ghana, and to the world. We pray that through your work, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be praised. So now, Nay Gate the servant, in order that the people gathered here to witness this occasion may fully understand your intentions and also that in future your recollection of this moment may bestir you to your responsibilities. We require you to answer the following questions. Nana, do you again affirm your faith in God? I do. Nana, do you in the name of God and in the presence of the people assembled here accept this trust and responsibility? I do. Negate the servant. Are you determined to carry out your responsibilities faithfully, seeking the welfare of all those who are under you? I have so determined by God's grace. Do you promise to be subject to God and through active cooperation 
with the university council and the academic board further the work of education in this country? I do promise God being my helper. In the management of your office, as well as human financial resources, will you sacrifice your life and your comfort and without seeking your own personal interest, work so selflessly, seeking the glory of God and reward that he alone gives to his faithful workers? I will, God being my helper. Neigate the servant. Efutu Uma Odefe. Are you so prepared as to ensure that academic work, moral education, and religious training of the community of EUW will be lifted higher and higher than the present standards so that our graduates will be great scholars and good citizens of this, our beloved country, Ghana? I'm so prepared, God be my helper. By responding to this, the Lord bless you and protect you. We come against every orchestration of the evil one against you. May longevity, excellence, and, and holistic prosperity be your portion. May you never lack. May the Lord give you wisdom and the ability to share the affairs of this university to a successful end. So they are the end of it all you will say that indeed it is the Lord who has done it. You are blessed. Let us say amen. amen. Now, The last bit of it is that I also ask you again to stand up for us also to affirm our support. Let all of us stand up. If you have the program, kindly turn with me to page 23. If you have the program, kindly turn with me to page 23. There is a response by the congregation, all of us assembled here. I'm sorry. Dear brothers and sisters, we have heard the solemn pledge of our brother, Nehi Gathe the servant, who has been appointed a chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba. Will you also, on behalf of God, on the nation Ghana, Signify your approval. Will you do in your power to assist Neigate the servant in all that he will do in his responsibilities to which he has been called, giving him your counsel and your prayers? The response is there. We accept. Please be seated. God bless you.
Nein, Oma Defi, Yanata. Nein, Oma Defi, Yanata. Nein, O de Bicca say, Anisa say, Anejo, yet a cocane. Thank you so much. This is my acceptance speech. Your Excellency, President of the Republic, Nana Adudankwa Akufu Adu. Honorable Minister for Education, Dr. Yao Edichum. Honorable Central Regional Minister, Mrs. Justina Marigold Asan. Honorable Member of Parliament for a Futu constituency, Alexander Afenyo Markin. Honorable Minister for Chieftaincy, Chairman of Council, Member of the UW Governing Council, members of the UW Governing Council, the Vice Chancellor, the Pro Vice Chancellor, Acting Registrar, the Finance Officer, Acting Librarian, the Principal College of Education, a Language Education, the Principal College of Distance and E Learning, members of Convocation, distinguished invited guests, Nananum staff, students, and alumni, the media, members of the security agencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I bring you greetings from the Futu Paramountcy. I'm excited and humbled to have such a wonderful array of dignified personalities together here for my sake and to witness my investiture as Chancellor for the University of Education, whenever. Lots of wonderful messages have come my way upon the announcement that I would be the next Chancellor of the University of Education, whenever. Indeed, I have been overwhelmed by the warm welcome from many of you, and this is a very pleasant day for me and it means so much for me. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as a young lad, chieftaincy nor was chancellorship a part of my dreams and aspirations in the early formative years of my life. I had my dreams and none of what I find myself doing today is what I dreamt of being or wanted to be. However, this has not deterred me from rising to the task whenever the need arose for me to lead the people of Efutu, and so I will execute the responsibilities that come with this august office. I know that the responsibilities that come with this role cannot be underestimated, especially when the university has to contend with and survive in challenging times of global financial constraints and fierce competition among Ghanaian universities for students. This necessitates that we chart a new and successful way through the efforts and dedication of all stakeholders to develop the power of the brain and improve learning as we work towards executing the mandate of this noble institution. The opportunity to lead the university in charting these new and successful ways as we begin this new journey fills me with exhilaration and I wish to express profound dedication and commitment in my capacity as a chancellor to continue making the university the best teacher education university in Africa. (laughs) 
This university was set up by the government to produce professional educators. Many more such universities have been accredited with the same mandate. Having been installed in 1996 and the university established in 1992, my observations go far into the development of the university. I've had close working relationship with council chairman and principals during the UCEW era and vice chancellors on becoming a fully fledged university. This is a university with promise for the government, the people of Winneba and the nation at large. I pledge my support to work tirelessly and passionately with the UEW Council, management, and all stakeholders to strive for the achievement of the vision and mission of the university and to prepare the university to higher heights. I applaud those who decided on Winneba to host a tertiary educational institu institution. Winneba lost its past glory when the surf port was closed down to pave way for the use of the deep sea port in the early 1960s. Winneba is a community with a rich cultural heritage. One of the rich arms of the university is its arts and music department, which can easily forge collaboration with the Efutu School to preserve the culture of Winneba. The university was seen as a promise to prosperity by the Futu community. Unfortunately, this anticipation has not yet materialized. The best way is for us all to rethink our positions. I intend to use all the experience I have gathered over the years, including training I received in alternative dispute resolution under Justice Henry Mensa Bonsu to further the interest of the university. To this end, with this opportunity given me by His Excellency President Dana Adudankwa Akufuadu, President of the Republic of Ghana, it is my avowed promise to support management in all their endeavors. As a body, we need to reorient the human resource base of the university to work towards uplifting UEW and its core mandate and contribute towards the sustainable development of Winneba, the university and its various campuses around Ghana. It requires lobby, open door policy, listening years, and patience. It will need putting the past behind us. I'm poised, ready, and prepared to support UEW to achieve its stated objectives. Your Excellency, my biggest appreciation to you and all officials that came with you for exceptionally finding this ceremony so important to skip today's schedule to personally do the investiture of my office. And to you, council chairman, members of council, vice chancellor, and your management team, the senior and junior members of this great university, I'm so appreciative of your attendance and support. To the first chancellor, of this university. I'm thankful, for, I'm thankful for your leadership and dedication to the goals of this university. For many accomplishments you have done on behalf of the university, accept my felicitations for a job well done. At this function, which signifies the beginning of my new journey as a chancellor and continuation from where you ended. I would have loved that you were here with us in person. I cannot help but pray 
for and wish you speedy recovery. Besides, my appreciation goes to all family members who out of love have left all their important shadows to grace the ceremony with their presence. I appreciate my colleague chiefs who have equally shown much love to travel with their entourage to give me moral support for this ceremony. I thank you so much. Many of you here, though friends from far and near, out of a trustful working relationship have become more than family members to me. I recognize especially your presence and show appreciation for coming. I cherish your friendship. It is very necessary. I show appreciation to the clergy, those who are relations and friends, and those who are here at duty post. You have shown love and appreciate you. Those who put this program together, I say, Aiko, thank you for such a wonderful show. We thank God for all that has happened and pray that our ways be continued and be guided. Long live UEW, long live Efutu, and thank you all for coming.
Your Excellency, I now invite the Chancellor of the University of Education, Winniba, Nenyi Gati the Seventh, to dissolve this assembly. Thank you. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Chairman and members of the EUW Governing Council, Members of the Academic Board, Convocation, Distinguished Invited, Ladies and Gentlemen, I wish on behalf of the University of Education Wedeba to express my deep appreciation for honoring the invitation of the university to attend the investiture and induction ceremony. I wish you safe journey to your respective destinations. I now declare the assembly duly dissolved. Let us have the closing prayer. Kindly bow down your heads. Yes, sit, please. Sit. Please sit. Father, we bless you for moments like this for seeing us through, especially to the end of this program. We are going to live here. You brought all of us here through your eagle's wing. You carried us safely. By the same mercies, send everyone back to their various destination in Jesus' name. We come against every orchestration of the evil one against every individual. And may their plans come to naught in the matchless name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you from the crown of the head to the sole of your feet. May the Lord protect you from all perils and dangers throughout this day and beyond. And may his mercies locate you wherever you are. May the favor of the Lord come mightily upon you and save you from the plans of the enemy. You are blessed in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.